we are looking today. Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, it's a pleasure once more to meet you, and I hope you are all safe and uh, practicing social distancing. Now we are continuing with our lessons, and today we are moving a step further as we look at transactions with data. So our focus today is on saying uh, what is the effect so we are looking at the effect of transactions with data on the accounting equation so to say whenever we have a transaction with the data with a data how does that affect the accounting equation that is our focus for today and um, the accounting equation you need to remember always it says here assets is equals to owners equity plus your liabilities that is the accounting equation so today we are looking at how do these transactions with data affect this uh, accounting equation so we are going to start by looking at uh, transactions where data has bought goods on credit so when goods are sold on credit to the data remember the journal affected will be the what the dj so that's the first one so we are going to be basically looking at two transactions with data that is when goods are sold that is a, a buyer has bought goods on credit and number two when the buyer comes now to pay for those goods so we are looking at two journals the dj and the crj transactions recorded in the dj how do they affect the accounting equation and transactions recorded in the crj how do they affect the accounting equation now remember we said here each single transaction will affect the accounting equation any transaction it affects the accounting equation so in this case when goods are sold on credit take note of this there are four accounts that are affected whenever goods are sold on credit four accounts are affected now why are these four accounts affected because remember we're dealing with two amounts one is the selling price and it affects its two accounts according to the double entry and then the other amount is the cost price and it's a, it affects also its two accounts so that is why we eventually end up having four accounts being affected now so let's look at the two accounts that are affected by the selling price the two affected by the selling price are data's control remember we can say data simply we can simply say data's or say data's control so i'll be using them interchangeably so that you get used when i say data's it's the same as saying data's control so the two accounts are data's control and sales these are the two accounts that are affected by the selling price then the two that are affected by the cost price are trading inventory and cost of sales these are the two accounts so eventually the four are data's control sales trading inventory and cost of sales where these two are affected by the selling price and then these two are affected by the cost price now having identified now the accounts that are affected we then have to decide whether they fall under assets uh, liabilities or owners equity we need to do that then the next step obviously will be to see if it's an increase or a decrease now let's start now number one with the selling price we want to say uh, how do these accounts these two accounts that are affected by the selling price affect the account equation and remember I've said this debtors and sales now debtors control is an asset right and as an asset we have sold goods on credit meaning to say what we are owed is increased so assets have increased right that is for um, data's control then for sales sales is an income remember we don't have income on the accounting equation we only have but what assets owners equity and liability so you must remember that incomes falls under owners equity so sales is an income yes but it falls on the accounting equation it falls under owners equity and it means owners equity will be increasing that is uh with regards to the selling price then there are two accounts affected by the cost price are trading inventory and cost of sales right um trading inventory is an asset and when we sell trading stock or trading inventory it means our trading inventory is decreasing so it decreases since assets are i mean uh, trading stock was sold then the second account is cost of sales this one is an expense and again on the accounting equation we don't have expense here 
so you must remember that expense falls under owner's equity remember i said there is a negative relationship between expense and owner's equity so when an expense is incurred by the business the expense has increased so since there is a negative relationship between expense and owner's equity when expense increase owner's equity will decrease so that will be the effect of the accounting equation owner's equity will decrease so this is basically what happens whenever we sell goods on credit four accounts will be affected where two are affected by the selling price and the other two are affected by the cost price like i've just uh, indicated here for you i'll be showing an example for you to master this one so that was part a when goods have been sold on credit then part b now the customers now are coming to pay so the data is now bringing the money that he owed us so this man received now it obviously goes to the crj so how does this affect the accounting equation now when money is received from a data only two accounts will be affected and these accounts are bank and data control so these are the only two accounts affected when money is received so we are saying money received remember according to our principle money received is put in the bank where are we receiving this money from is from a data therefore we must therefore these are the two accounts that are affected so both of these guys here bank and data's control they are assets so being assets data's is the one that will be decreasing now why is it decreasing because what we are owed as a business is going down so this asset called data is decreasing and bank since when we receive the money we put it in the bank then it means bank is the one that will be increasing all right so let's illustrate this by way of an example here's an example we sold goods on credit to s january five for five thousand rands cost of sales was 2.5 so this is an example for an entry that is going to be recorded in the dj so what will be the effect on the account equation now remember i want you to show this when you are showing the effect on the account equation here is just a column for the number what number is it like this one is our first one number one then here you write the document number in this case remember we said the source document for goods sold on credit is an invoice so we use the duplicate invoice so this is the short form for duplicate invoice then the journal where we record goods sold on credit obviously is the dj account uh, debited obviously remember i have said now there are four accounts that are affected these two are affected by the selling price and these two are affected by the cost price so the account that is debited probably the account that increases in this case is data's control data's control has increased because what we are owed is increasing by what by sales money that you are expecting to receive from a data so these two accounts data is an asset so when you debit an asset the asset is increased sales is an income when you create an income it is also increased so now let's go to the effect on the account equation now so the effect on the account equation is that when you debit an asset assets are increasing so you come here and say plus five thousand remember it always increased by the selling price and then sales also as an income it falls under owner's equity and remember there is a positive relationship between owner's equity and income so when income increase owner's equity also increase liabilities nothing happens because none of these two is a what is a liability right that's the selling price then the cost price now affect cost of sales and trading stock where cost of sales is debited that's the account debited why are we debiting cost of sales remember it's an expense now when you debit an expense it means the expense has increased now expense falls under owner's equity when owner's equity i mean when expense here increase owner's equity will decrease that's why we have got minus 2500 remember that is our cost price here or our cost of sales then the second one was which was credited the account credited was trading inventory or trading stock what is this account it's an asset when an asset is credited it means it's decreasing so you come under assets then you say it's a decrease by the cost price which is 2500 so every time you must save this it does not change it will never change until you finish your grade 9 your grade 10 11 your grade 12 your 
first degree until you do your phd this principle does not change so you will be a chartered accountant still these things will not change you have got these four accounts so take note every time when goods are sold on credit these are the four accounts affected and in this order you always debit debtors control credit sales debit cost of sales credit trading stock it will never change all right now here's another example we have received money now from a data P. Peter say has paid an amount that he was owing so his data was owing 8,000 so he has come to, to, to pay us remember we said only two accounts will be affected so in this case we come here we say okay transaction number two receipt is our source document remember whenever money is received we give the customer a receipt the journal is obviously the CRJ because money was received now the account debited is bank why it's an asset money received is put in the bank and that money is uh, showing an increase to the bank account and then the account credited is data control remember we said both of these are assets so obviously one must increase and one must decrease so data which is money we are owed by customers decrease so since we are saying both of them are assets it means our entries are only falling under assets nothing happens to owners equity nothing happens to liability so it means our assets increase plus 8,000 or our assets decrease minus 8,000 so it's plus or minus 8,000 that's your your answer to this one right then another example J. Kula, a data paid part of his uh, uh, debt of 5,000 now again we have received money from a data so what you are going to quickly do is this we go to our um, format again this is the table where we show the the entries is number three transaction number three receipt again was man was received crj again as long as we are receiving money from a data bank is debited and data's control is credited this is another way of writing plus or minus so you say plus slash minus five thousand instead of saying plus five thousand then below are minus five thousand you can write it this way nothing happens here nothing happens here. that is uh another one then the last one El Molema bought goods on credit for um, 12,000 and the cost of sales was 4.5. So in this case, again, we have got this illustration uh, just to, to remind you that it is always important to remember that every transaction where goods are sold on credit, two accounts, but when goods are sold on credit, four accounts will be affected. So we are back to that one again, where four accounts will be affected. So the journal I mean, uh, the document is duplicate invoice, the journal is the DJ. Again, like I've told you, it will never change. So it's data control that will be debited and sales will be credited. These two are affected by the selling price, which is 12,000, where data control is an asset. So assets are increasing plus 12,000 to show an increase. And owner's equity is also increasing. Why? Because sales and income has increased. Nothing happens to owner's equity, to, uh, to liabilities. And then the cost price affect cost of sales and trading stock, where trading stock is an asset that has decreased, assets minus 4.5. And cost of sales is an expense that has increased. So increase in expense cause decrease in owner's equity. That's why we have got minus 4.5 and nothing happens to our liabilities. Right. So that is basically the lesson that I uh, have for you today, showing the effect of uh, transactions with the data so on the account credit. Now, I therefore want you to see the overall table. This is how it's going to be looking like now when you have completed everything. The first transaction, we're having goods sold on credit. And then the second one was money received, meaning the data was paying. And also here, the data was paying. And then this one, the last one, the data uh, was buying on credit. So I have repeated this uh, two transactions twice so that you can see how we write our transaction so this is the homework that i want you to do now I, you this homework is only found here so you get it here it's not in your workbook it's not in your uh, ems textbook it's here so you take this one you copy it into your ems exercise book take note you are doing this work in your ems exercise book. so you must write this write the date today's date and then you uh, present it in the 
in the in EMS book and I want you to draw those tables that I was showing you out of there. So here it says here show the effect of the following transactions on the account in question. Here are the transaction. The first one, goods were sold on credit to James for six thousand. Cost of sales was three thousand. The second one, inventory with the selling price, meaning say goods trading stock with the selling price of eight thousand was sold on credit to Peter. Uh, the markup on cost was hundred percent. So it means in this case you are given the selling price. You must calculate the cost of sales, which is based on hundred percent markup. Then the next one, Jason Edita paid his debt of 3.5 here the customer is paying a receipt of 1.2 so it's another way of asking this question matter still it's a data uh, makoti who is uh, paying what he was owing and then number five james bought goods for three thousand with the cost price of two thousand again uh, these are credit sales james paid in full his outstanding amount right take note here here i did not give you the amount but you are guided by the way here james paid in full his outstanding amount so you must look for james in these transactions here james here he bought all right then we also have james here he bought all right and then so eventually what was his full amount and here what did he do on day six he paid then you show the effect on the account in question and b draw the table like the example given below uh, uh which is this one you you so you are going to draw your this table which has got to one two three four five six seven eight columns you draw that in your ems book then here you'll be writing the number so you'll be having going downwards six of them and that is what i expect you to do as your homework okay any question you are free to direct them to me via my um inbox have a good day